Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Catherine and this is Just Band Catherine. Thanksgiving is literally right around the corner. I feel like the days are just going by so fast, but I am in full holiday spirit as we are preparing to host our Friendsgiving for the second year in the row. I really love the holidays, especially Thanksgiving because it's the one time where you can hang around the table and create memories, laugh, eat a lot of food, and spend time with family and friends and reflect on why you are grateful. However, not everyone has that ideal situation. And my why behind hosting Friendsgiving is because I want to create an atmosphere where someone feels loved and special. It's not nearly about the decorations, the food, but about people. And I feel like God uses my gift of creating to give back. And that's what I'm gonna show you in today's video is how to style and create a Friendsgiving that is welcoming, practical, fun, and affordable. It's so affordable that your guests will have no idea. So if you have not seen my previous video where I share some holiday DIYs that are super easy to do, make sure you go and check out that video. That is part one of this video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. I encourage you to hit the subscribe button if you love makeover videos and fashion videos. And if you have not done so, make sure you hit the notification bell so that you are aware and you know exactly every single time I come out with a new video. Here are some inspirational pictures just to give you an idea of what I am going for. I was drawn to natural elements, blush tones, organic textures, some neutrals. I am just really into the bohemian, cozy, and comfortable style. You're gonna see a lot of the style and textures incorporated through the vases and flowers in the table setting deep rich yellows and orange. So not your traditional fall and Thanksgiving colors, but more on the bright but bohemian side. It's just gonna be carefree, flow easily. I really just want the guests to feel, know that the details that went into this was all intentional. So if you are invited to this Friendsgiving, I suggest that you do not watch the rest of this video yet. <laughs> I really want you to be surprised. <laughs> But make sure you come back later and like the video. <laughs> so we're gonna start off with a mini haul. This is give you a general idea of the style. So we're gonna start over here in this basket. I have some candle holders and candle sticks. I'm gonna utilize that throughout the table setting to bring in color and create a moment. Um, I have some bases here. I have these white ceramic ones a light brown amber. I have this miniature one with the textures dots on them. I really, really like it. I got it for $3.99 at Hobby Lobby. And I also have some more miniature bases. I believe I got that from the Target dollar spot. If you see my Fall Decorate With Me video, um, you will see that this was something that I used in our kitchen. And I actually was wanting to incorporate those colors into this table setting as well. I also have some leftover leaves from my wreath project. These are some of the kitchen um, necessities that we'll be using. A wooden charger that I got from Home Goods last year. The pumpkins, plates, utensils, and some wheats as well. This is a peach table runner. It looks more pink on camera, but it's really a, like a really beautiful peach. This is what's gonna pull together all the rest of the plants, the vases, the textures, the woods together. I also picked up some more plants um, from Michaels as well. They had a 70% off on sale and I thought this would just be perfect um, to add into the natural elements that I already have going on. I will try to link as much as I can down below in the description box if you see something that you are interested in. So this is the folding table that uh, we picked up. It is practically a card table, six feet all white with gray legs. Holds about four people to a table, but if you combine them, you can add an extra two people. We spent the last 20 minutes coming up with floor and table seating arrangements. The challenging thing about small spaces is that they're small, so you have to adjust, maneuver, and we just wanna make sure that all our guests are comfortable. The base for the table setting are going to be these card tables. I have two of them. 
they're gonna be right here they're directly in our sunroom area because of the lighting since our balcony is right here is gonna cause the video to look dark so we'll be only seeing one angle for this video but you're gonna see the final reveal towards the end Everything here is pretty much self-explanatory, but I'll walk you through what I'm doing. So the two-piece chiffon table runner is 27 by 120 inches. I chose a sheer texture for a soft touch. This runner is going to be our statement piece for both tables, and I plan on using it to add color, creating a delicate moment, but ultimately giving off that bohemian vibe. Here I'm scrunching the fabric to create waves and a layer effect. Doing this will get rid of blank space, especially since we are not adding a garland or a big bouquet of flowers. Nothing is going to seem like I tried. Now it's time to start adding your second layers, which are the vases, candle holders, any props that you want to use to bring in color, depth, and height. Other than the obvious, the components of a great table setting that you can take anywhere with you comes down to colors. So whether you have that big bold pop of color or you go all neutral and add in your color, textures and heights which can be added through plants, florals or decor. Believe it or not, but I got these cups last year during Friendsgiving, and they are from the dollar store. And I still have them now, and I've been using them throughout the year. I found these from Target for $3. I'm going to link these down below because they are perfect. They're reusable, they're dishwasher safety, microwave safety. It's not your typical paper plates. And the best thing about it is that once we're done with the table setting, we can use them. And I'm so glad we have gotten past the point of just using silver. Saw that they have plastic gold utensils. It made my heart very happy. Instead of your standard square napkins, I opted for a rectangular one to give it a more fancier look. As you know, every table needs plates, utensils, glassware, cups. I did not add it in here, but I think I am going to add a secondary cup so they have the wine glasses throughout the table. But if they want water or another drink, um, they will have the option to choose otherwise. The faux fur that I'm adding to the black chairs is to add on to the bohemian story that I am setting up for our guests. And it's just going to be something cute and soft for the guests to lean back on. And it really just brings everything together. I'm going to write gift thanks. And if you know how to write in cursive, I don't know about you, I grew up writing in cursive. In my opinion, calligraphy is modern day cursive. So if you know how to write in cursive, you're good to go. Even if you don't, it's okay because it's basically starting off with the alphabets in their regular form. So we're going to write the G very bold. I'm starting off with a pencil, easier in case I make mistakes. And first figure out like where exactly do you want your word. This is my center. So I think um, I'm thinking about writing it underneath. So give and then thanks. But it really big. I can always go back and erase it. One thing about calligraphy is a lot of connecting to it. And this is the most, like, many people have their way of doing it. This is what I find easiest for me. Just wrote the give, and now we're going to write thanks. And thanks is a longer word, so I want to make sure that it starts here and ends at the end. I'm really just connecting it. I don't know if you guys can see this. 
gonna go ahead and fill it in. Each letter that requires you to go downwards, you're just gonna fill it in. I'm gonna come in with a marker. I just have a mark a lot permanent marker. So you can use this, you can use markers, um, Sharpies, but because I really want this big, this marker has a very large top to it. So I'm just gonna literally go in and fill it in. One of my favorite things about table settings is the fact that you can switch in between plastic and glassware and no one would ever know. What makes a table setting cohesive, as I said before, is the color and the mixing and matching of it. If you know that you're gonna have all paper plates, then bring in maybe utensils or actual glass somewhere in to balance out the entire tablescape. I would like everything to be simple, but very romantic and sophisticated. But I want our guests to feel like, wow, this is for me. Like, I just want them to be amazed and shocked when they walk in the door. So there you go, an entire Friendsgiving tablescape. We should probably hashtag this Friendsgiving Thanksgiving. I really like that together. I might do that for this year and next year, I don't know. But let's hashtag this Friendsgiving Thanksgiving. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it and you were inspired, definitely give it a thumbs up so I know to continue to make videos like this. Question of the day is, what are you looking forward to this holiday season? Comment below. Uh, as you saw in the video, it was just a table set in itself, but not people and food. That is because I want to be present and intentional about my time and spending it with my family and friends. However, make sure you are following me over on Instagram at JessVanCatherine and come say hello so that you can see more photos, um, some food, because I'm cooking this year. I'll be sharing a few pictures and videos as I prepare for the day. But I thank you so much again for watching. Happy Friendsgiving. Happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. And as always, I will talk to you all later.